Hey, this is Rod from Ram City, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install this little guy in this system here. This is the Samsung SM951. You can use the same procedure for the Samsung XP941. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to install the hardware, both the bare drive and also in an adapter like this one, which is the Lycom DT120. Now, if you want to know how I got that drive into this adapter, you want to have a look at this product video. And if you'd like to jump straight to just installing Windows in the system, you're like you've already got the hardware installed, then you can have a look at this other video. So let's get started. Okay, to in install the bare Samsung SM951 drive in this system, which is a ASRock Z97 Extreme 6, we just simply need to line up the slot that's on the drive with the guide that's on the M.2 socket. So once you place it in, you've got to place it in an angle and then wriggle it in, much like the way you would install the memory module. And here, to hold that down on that standoff, there is another screw that comes with the motherboard, which will generally already be in that standoff. You need to locate that. And then we just screw it into the top of the drive like that. And that's it, that's done. So now your drive is installed and you're ready to go onto your software installation. So now I'm going to show you how you can install the SM951 into the same Z97 system, except using a Lycom DT120 adapter. Now we'll note, this is an ASRock Z97 Extreme 6 system, and you would generally not ever do this, and in fact I've not been able to install Windows using the adapter, um, and the fact that you've already got a Ultra M.2 socket, you never need to anyway. But this procedure is going to work fine for any other Z97 system where you might have limited bandwidth on the M.2 socket. So all we need to do is find a free PCIe socket and drop it in. We're going to install the card into this PCIe socket here. So all we do is simply line it up. Give it some even pressure on both ends. So that's installed. We're just going to put a fastening screw to the top of the bracket there. And that's it. As you can see, there's no cables required. That's all done. Now that we've installed our hardware, we need to go on to the software installation. So if you'd like to learn how you install either Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on the Samsung SM941 or the XP941, have a look at this video. And thanks for watching.